Will Drew Brees be a part of this franchise moving forward? Um, <laughs> I, you have to ask Drew that, <laughs> I think. You want, you want him back, Drew? Uh, yeah, obviously. Is yes. this market one that's kind of interesting to try to figure out what it is exactly right yeah, now? Yeah, I, I don't know that I want to make any comments about that. Um, you know, I think the first thing is, you know, it's clear we'd love to have Drew back, and if he wants to be back, then we'll go from there. So, I mean, I'm assuming that he does. Hey, how, how would you characterize where the season kind of went and then ended? Well, look, I, um, first of all, I think it was a successful season in the sense that, uh, you know, we're 13-3, we won the division, made the playoffs. That, 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 those are difficult goals to achieve and that we achieved them. It was, you know, dissatisfying in that, hey, you know, we had a home playoff game and we didn't win. Um, but there was a lot of good things happened during the season. Um, a lot of good things, a lot of great performances by, by players on our team, a lot of uh, um, uh, success through adversity, uh, great job by our coaches. And so, look, I, 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 I come away disappointed. We all are disappointed with the way it ended, and yet, um, I think there was a lot of really good things that happened, and, and I'm excited about our team going forward. What do you think happened in that playoff team? We lost. <laughs> you know, look, we're playing a good team. In the playoffs, you're playing good teams. And, and uh, you know, they, they beat us. It, it's, you know, simple as that. They, they're a real good team, and, and these games are going to be close uh, in the playoffs, and, and uh, they just made more plays than we made. Do you think that injuries may be caught up with you guys? Yeah, you know, I, I don't want to say that. Uh, listen, every team has injuries. Um, you know, every team has injuries and guys, you know, that, that aren't 100% when you get to that point in the season. They just beat us. And, and uh, it's a hard thing to swallow, especially when you're playing at home. Um, but that, that ha that, that's going to happen sometimes. And, and uh, it doesn't feel very good. And yet, it's just what it is. Mickey, is, is how well Taysom Hill played near the end of the year, did that change your view on his future in New Orleans or what no. type of role you see him playing? No, I mean, look, I think that, you know, in, in terms of the role, that's a, that's a question for, for Sean. And, and uh, obviously, he did a lot of great things. He's such a versatile, unique player. Um, and we're excited and glad to have him. Did you, did you feel like when you watched him in that Vikings game that he was one of the better athletes on the field? Well, I, I think we felt that way for a long time. I mean, we get to see him in practice every day and get to see you know, some of the really unique things that he can do. And, and uh, um, you know, that was obviously fully on display in, in, uh, in some games during the latter part of the season. But, but we see him do, you know, a lot of amazing things every week. Do you expect teams to try to sign him to an offer sheet? Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, we're, we're a ways away from that. So we'll see what happens. Make a senior bowl question. When you meet these players for yeah. the first time, what are yeah. some of the traits that you want to see? Well, I, you know, I think this is, you know, our first chance to just kind of get to know a few guys and, and our area scouts and, and our, our college scouts, they know the players pretty well. So it's, it's, you know, our coaches and my and Sean's introduction to them. And so it's just the very beginning of a process. And, and uh, look, I think it's a really good group here at the Senior Bowl. I think the, um, the people that are running the Senior Bowl are doing a great job, do a great job, and it's well, well organized. and, and uh, it gives teams, including us, a chance to, you know, be introduced to them, basically. How high of a, a priority do you see it to try to add some wide receiver depth alongside Michael Thomas? I mean, I know you brought yeah. the guys in. Uh, look, I, I think we have a group of wide receivers that we really like, and and we're in the business of, of improving our team, you know, any way we can. And, you know, your question is a good one, and yet part of that is dictated by what becomes available and how do we fit it in in, in our roster. And so. Those are questions and answers that we, uh, you know, we're not there yet. As we got a long, we got a long way to go here. As you first start to dive in, though, the, the depth of this wide receiver class in the draft seems like it's deeper. Than yeah, that's what uh, you know. That's what Jeff and, and our, our college guys have said is that that's one of the positions they feel like is real strong in this draft. And and uh, again, you know, we're at the beginning of this process, not not in the middle or at the end. Would you like to have Teddy back? And how difficult do yeah. you think that would? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, that remains to be seen here. Obviously, we like to have our whole team back. You know, we just came off a 13 and three season, and and we got a great locker room, great bunch of guys, and and so you know, in a perfect world, we'd have everybody back. But 
there's free agency and, and you know a lot of things are going to happen between now and then. Do you plan an aggressive approach to free agency or just kind of see yeah, how it Yeah, I think it's or? too early. You know, I, I tell you guys every year we're going to we're going to have this list of to-do things that uh, our, our off-season will be comprised of and, and we just haven't even got that uh, completed yet. You so I can't answer the question. Have you had that conversation with Drew and if not, when would you no. have that? Yeah, it, you know, it, look, it's his, it's his timetable here. We're just, you know, the season's just ended. He's at the Pro Bowl, and and um, you know, we got to have a little time to decompress, and and uh, there's 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 plenty of time. How uh, how difficult is it to make an assessment on somebody like Janoris Jenkins when you only got like about two and a half games with him? It seemed like maybe well, here. you know, we only had two and a half games with him, and and obviously, you know, we get to know him, but he's got a pretty good body of work out there that that uh, we had plenty of evaluations on him over the course of his career and and uh, look we were we were fortunate and glad to have him at the end of the season and and I thought he performed well so um, yeah he was a good addition any more uh, update on any staff additions or, or no, uh, not, not yet but we'll uh, you know we're not anticipating a bunch so we'll let you know those things we, we uh, make those decisions how about, how about Andrews I mean, yeah. he's, been, he's been kind of a cornerstone of the offensive line, but he's unrestricted. How, how difficult yeah. do you think that would be to get Yeah, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, these are good questions, and yet I don't like speculating about free agency and who's, you know, who's going where and who's going to get what. I just, it's such a, uh, you know, such a crapshoot. I can say this, though. Look, I think that we have – a lot of players that that enjoy being with the Saints and want to be back at the Saints, and and uh, and we appreciate all of those guys and want them back for for you know, uh, the most part. So usually, when when you want someone and they want to be there, uh, you can find a way to get something done. And and so I th I think that's generally the um, the circumstance and the situation that we've been in with with our free agents over the past. So. You know, we'll make those decisions, and they've got decisions to make, and you know, we'll see how that plays out. You think the the window is still open as far as you guys getting another Super Bowl? Right? Yeah, look, you know, I, I like our roster, I love our coaching staff, and and uh, look, it's it's a new season. It's nothing nothing that we did, um, nothing that we did last season is going to carry over to next season. We're going to have a, a different team, and and. Um, Obviously, there'll be some guys back, but you know, we're starting from ground zero, basically. Interesting to see, uh, or maybe not interested, but curious that uh, Joe Brady now back in the NFC South. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's you know good for him. He did a great job at LSU, and and obviously they had a great team, and, and he's got an opportunity, um, which wasn't at Carolina, but that, that's just the way it is. So um, he's a great competitor and a good young coach. Do you think one day he'll be an NFL head coach, Mickey? Yeah, well, I don't, you know, I don't know. I can't speculate on that. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. Do you, do you anticipate um, a Michael Thomas fullback situation at all with someone like Camaro? Or do yeah. you try to keep yeah. your finger on the pulse of that at all? Well, it's just, it's, you know, it's too early to, to talk about any of that. You know, those guys are under contract, and you know, we'll just see what happens going forward. You evaluate a lot of quarterbacks in your time. You've seen some. What do you see a guy like Joe Burrow? Maybe some comparisons to some players that you've seen in your time. Yeah, you know, it's too early for me to talk about that. Obviously, he had a great season, and everything about uh, him um, it sounds fantastic, including his performance. And obviously, we know some coaches on on the LSU staff, and 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 um, they're pretty enthusiastic about their endorsement of, of, of Joe. But you know, we're in the early in the process here, so it's hard to comment on that. Okay. Uh, Oh, good. Thank Thanks, you.